Even to this day, the Great Sphinx of Giza remains one of the biggest mysteries in the history of the world. It was originally built several thousand years ago by an ambitious pharaoh as a comeback to his rival, who was none other than his own father, yet so many still don't know much about it. Hello and welcome back to The Abandoned Archaeologist again, the channel to learn all about ancient archaeological findings. Today we will reveal some of the strangest secrets about the ancient Sphinx. But before we begin, to get your attention, we have a question you can answer at the end of this video by watching it. Which pharaoh's pyramid is associated with the Great Sphinx of Giza? Write down your answer in the comment section and see if you got it right. Here we begin. The Great Sphinx of Giza is a colossal limestone statue of a recumbent Sphinx in Giza, Egypt, that likely dates back from King Khafre's reign and depicts his face. It is arguably the best-known example of Sphinx art and one of Egypt's most famous landmarks. The Great Sphinx is one of the world's largest sculptures, standing 240 feet tall and 66 feet long. It has a lion's body and a human head with a royal headdress. The Great Sphinx was carved from a single piece of limestone, and pigment residue indicates that the entire statue was painted. According to some estimates, it would have taken a hundred workers three years to complete the statue using stone hammers and copper chisels. Most scholars attribute ownership of the Great Sphinx to Khafre and date it to the 4th dynasty. However, some believe it was built by Khafre's older brother, Jadefri, to honor their father, Khufu, whose pyramid is known as the Great Pyramid at Giza. According to these theorists, the Great Sphinx's face resembles Khufu more than Khafre, and this observation has led to speculation that the statue was built by Khufu himself. Construction The nearby city of Memphis served as Egypt's capital during the Old Kingdom. Giza was chosen as a necropolis for the kings of the 4th dynasty, the Great Pyramid Builders. Because it had been used by rulers during Egypt's early dynastic period, and possibly even the pre-dynastic period. At Saqqara, King Djoser had already built his famous step pyramid and complex, whereas at Giza, there were only Mustaba tombs. Through his work on the Maidum Pyramid, Bent Pyramid, and Red Pyramid, King Sneferu perfected the art of pyramid building. By King Khufu's ascending to the throne in 2589 BCE, Egyptians had mastered the art of working in stone and creating large-scale monuments, Khufu most likely chose Giza as the location for his Great Pyramid to showcase his work in the best possible setting, away from his predecessor's creations. Khafre succeeded Khufu and established his own pyramid complex alongside his father's. The Sphinx is attributed to him because the creature's face resembles his in statuary and because the Sphinx appears to have been carved in his likeness. According to legend, while constructing Khafre's pyramid, workers discovered a large mass of rock deemed unsuitable for the pyramid complex and carved the statue from it. The Sphinx corresponds to Khafre's pyramid complex, lending credence to the claim that he built it. However, the location of the statue and how it aligns with Khafre's complex has led to some scholars to believe that the Sphinx existed when Khafre ascended to the throne and that his complex was purposefully designed to align with the sculpture. Some believe it belongs to Khafre, but evidence strongly suggests that it was built during Khafre's reign. Aside from the creature's face, it is certain that the limestone that makes up the Sphinx is the same as that used in Khafre's pyramid. The level of technical skill demonstrated in the creation of the Sphinx can be seen in statues of Khafre and God's statuary from the Old Kingdom. However, the orientation of Khafre's complex strongly suggests that it was designed with Khufu's pyramid and complex in mind rather than the statue, and that the Sphinx was created during or shortly after the construction of his pyramid. So it was built around 4,500 years ago during Pharaoh Khafre. The Great Sphinx of Egypt is a monument that consists of Pharaoh's head on a lion's recumbent body. There were numerous other sphinxes in ancient Egypt, Assyria, Greece, and other places. The Great Sphinx is known as an Andro Sphinx because of its human head. 
the Cryosphinx, which has a ram's head on a lion's body, and the Hierocosphinx, which has a hawk's head, are two other types of the Sphinx. The Great Sphinx is 240 feet, that's 73 meters, long, and was carved in soft limestone. It shares the Giza necropolis site with the three great pyramids of Khufu, Khafre, and Menkore, which are 6 miles or 10 kilometers west of Cairo. Giza also has several smaller tombs, pyramids, and temples. Links to Khafre Several pieces of evidence point to the Sphinx being from Khafre's time, a stella or vertical stone slab dating from the reign of New Kingdom Pharaoh Tutmos IV stands in front of the Sphinx. The inscription was flaking off when recorded, but it contained at least the first syllable of Khafre's name. The Valley Temple, located next to the Sphinx, is associated with Khafre, and statues of the Pharaoh have been discovered there. At the time, two Sphinxes, 26 feet, that's 8 meters long, were built at each of the temple's two entrances. Furthermore, Khafre's mortuary temple, which is adjacent to his pyramid, has a center court identical to the Sphinx Temple. A causeway connects the Valley Temple to Khafre's Pyramid. This causeway's drainage channel empties into the enclosure where the Sphinx now stands. The channel would not have been positioned this way if the enclosure had already been excavated. This would be considered a desecration, implying that the Sphinx was built after the causeway. How old is the Great Sphinx? The Great Sphinx's very existence can be considered a puzzle. It guards the Giza necropolis like a silent sentinel from another era. It is a 240-foot, that 73-meter architectural and engineering marvel made of carved limestone blocks. The effects of erosion on the structures of ancient buildings are one of the simplest ways to determine their age. Wind and water wage an endless war on stone, gradually eroding it with their relentless assault. The Great Sphinx was not immune to these forces and now bears the scars of its futile battle against time and nature. It spent more than 700 years beneath the desert surface at one point in its history. Water and wind-blown sand leave different marks on surfaces as they wear away. So scientists have begun to wonder whether the scoring on the surface of the Sphinx is more water-based or wind-based. The Lost Civilization Many researchers wonder who built the Sphinx if it predates the Old Kingdom. This question has two possible and contradictory answers. The first is that the Sphinx was built by members of a primitive society that existed before the Old Kingdom. Would erecting the Sphinx necessitate a technologically advanced culture? After all, Stonehenge in Britain was built by a relatively primitive culture a Neolithic settlement with astronomical structures built with huge stones, similar to the Sphinx, was discovered in 1998 in another area of the Sahara called Nabada. The Nabada structures, which date from around 4500 BC, are fascinating in their astronomical accuracy. On the other hand, the enclosure surrounding the Sphinx is made of massive blocks that had to be moved quite a distance by the builders. West challenged construction engineers to complete the task in Mystery of the Sphinx. The task could not be completed, even with a crane with one of the world's largest booms. Many proponents of the hypothesis that the Great Sphinx was built before Khafre's reign agree that the builders were likely advanced and may have used acoustic technology to move the stones. What do you think of the Great Sphinx? Comment your views. And the answer to our question is Khafre. Subscribe for more.